okay that way. Mm -hmm. There you go, stink pants. Just waiting to see a sign in here to see if anything will happen. And it looks like it's about to start. There's no time for pleasantries today, stink pants. Too much to talk about. Today's topics may include, but not limited to, the definition of community, filming consent, and everybody's gangster until Stink Pants gets mad. Now, say something funny about liking and commenting. Did you say hello yet? Hello. <laughs> All right, say something even funnier about subscribing with a bell notification on. Like what? Okay, okay, so bell, that's not... <laughs> bell notification. Don't forget to flush your toilet. Push that button. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was pretty funny. All right, let's get into it. So there were people in the live chat uh, already before. Oh, Bo Turner's there. Seth's there. Kane's there. You say hello, you start doing your business. I'll be right back there. Stinking. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Gangsta Vegas. Okay. Here we go. I guess this is another type of racing car racing game. No? Maybe boxing? MMA? Some such? What's that? Okay, hang on. Frank. Now you take a guy, he is caught up in a system, blah blah blah. Oh, no system gonna break him. Okay. Two. So I'm a boxer. Nah, 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 nah. I'm going shirtless. Okay, but you play you have to play among us. Uh, we will get to that if this doesn't work, that's for sure. Alright, so how is everybody today? A lot of things I'd like to talk about, Stink Pants. Do you know what everybody gangst is gangster means? Every I thought it's gangster, like E-R. This one is A-R. Yeah, they don't know how to spell these gaming developers. They just want to make it a name, specific name. So it has to be different from common word. I think that's why. That is true. So, first topic of conversation, uh. the definition of community, because disclaimer and warning again. Oh my God, this is sounds like my degree study again. <laughs> what is community? Oh. Well, it's only because I saw something again I wish I hadn't seen. Right. There's some, some video that I watched that was highlighting some small channels out there that have this community, if you could call it that. And they're, they're not doing nice things. And that also relates to, you know, filming with consent. Because they were filming stuff without consent. And it wasn't nice stuff. In particular, the, these people were sleeping. And it was pretty clear they weren't giving consent when they were doing it. With what? Mm, I can't give details. Well, then if you can, <laughs> don't talk about it on, in the stream. No, I'd talk about it in the stream. You can't stop me. There are two kinds of community so it's by relationship yes and geographic yeah you're right i learned about this yes <laughs> i know i'm right <laughs> <laughs> and uh when you say you've got relationship you count online relationships with that because that's a yeah, relatively any new kind. thing it can be both as well you know like people from school you got like friendship relationship and then you bow into the school same school so that geographic as well that's true that's a face-to-face -face one mm -hmm. though as opposed to online where you don't so really that's not geographic because you are come from like worldwide international but then you got relationship right so that's community correct the mundo you're very intelligent stink pants did you know that yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is a basic thingy. Not you can't write essay about this too much. Not well, actually you might, but I'm not going to do it. You did it already. And then what do you think about filming with or without consent? And I'm talking about you 
Legally, you're allowed to film in public, right? But where do you draw the line? If you're filming in a shop or restaurant or cafe, you know that's not public, technically, because you're on private property when you do that. And yet, time and time again, I see people doing it. Um, I don't know. I... Do you know... How much do you know about privacy law here? Uh, only a little bit. Well... Because okay. I never, never I don't think it. we can talk about this topic too much. Oh, well, then we get back onto the everybody's gangster and tell. Yeah. Well, Grandma shows up. Get nothing from you. Well. Everybody's well, gangster until Grandma shows up. And? And Stink well, Pants gets mad. Because Grandma, you know, she cracked the whip on you. She makes sure you're not doing anything naughty. Wasn't your grandma like that? No. My grandma was. No, she's not like that. Well, that was because you were really well behaved, is it? I don't think so. Oh, she's not that kind of person. Oh, gee, I had that on there. Uh, Oh, I wasn't looking at the chat when I was talking to you. So, this is a rip-off of GTA, yes, but apparently the reviews are saying it's very good. So, if, you don't, if you're like me and you're too cheap to actually spend money on it, because they've got GTA on uh, mobile as well and obviously on PlayStation or whatever the console what? is. This girl who helped us named Karen. Oh, no, <laughs> not the Karen. <laughs> Uh, oh, and Bo Turner just got back from playing GTA 5, so that's coincidental. So if you've got any tips for the old stink pants, let us know. Although she does seem to be doing all right there. Good stuff there, Stinky. <laughs> Little Afron's here. Hello, friends. Uh, Happy New Year to you too. Official MX is here. Good to see you again. Uh, New Year's has gone through. That's all right. We haven't uh, spoken, I think, to little Afton before the New Year's. So New Year's to everyone that we haven't spoken to yet. Uh, can 2021 get any worse? We don't know. We were actually discussing that last night to see if this year is going to be any better or not. I'm sure that it's, it's going to take a while to recover. That's the way I'm looking at it. Stink pants, you got to shoot. Good job, Stinky. Well, you must have been doing that. Bo Turner says, Everybody gangster till Stinky's late for the stream. Darn tootin'. Ah, come on, it's five minutes. <laughs> I said to you, get prepared. Half an hour beforehand, I'm saying, get ready, get ready, get ready. Nothing happens. Uh, the haters are attacking you. So we get that quite a bit anyway. I don't know why. It might be my personality. It's very polarizing. People either like me or they don't. And there's no middle ground there. Hot. Put so it somewhere else. Stink Pants doesn't like me. <laughs> it's, oh, what? So, again, it's happening that they I don't understand because on our end, we actually log in on a different computer to make sure the stream's working. And it seems fine on ours, but they've said yet again uh, to restart the screens. So, yeah, I'm not too sure why that's consistently happening. Um, I might, I keep saying it from previous streams, but I really might have to look at a different uh, streaming app to see if that works. Now, the other thing that I was trying to get Stink Pants to do all week, which hasn't happened yet, is to practice on the PlayStation. Uh, we hopefully, if you're, you're listening to me there, Stinky, nah, we got to <laughs> Stinky. Please listen to me. This week we need to practice. I need to work so we can show how expert we are, and then we'll do a PlayStation stream. How about that? <laughs> Alternately, if I can get one of my mates over that actually does more gaming. Uh, we'll see if we can get them to play, but I don't know if that'll actually work. I've got to talk to them about it first. Which brings me to the, the next thing. I actually want to ask everyone that's in the stream now a bit of a serious question, I guess. If we were to up our schedule to two streams a week, would that be too much? 
if we did a, a midweek thing. If Stinky's not there, it'd probably be Clash of Clans during the week. But if she is there, then we'd continue to upload new games. Why don't you do other games on your thingy? Yeah, or on uh, the PlayStation. But it's hard to, if you're talking about just me, when I'm doing it on Twitch, I find it very hard to talk and play at the same time when you actually have to concentrate on the screen. I've got to get better at it. can practice on Twitch. So, uh, yeah, let us know about that because I was watching some videos about how frequently you should upload and we've sort of been sticking to the once a week schedule and one of the bigger creators got back to me and said... Hang on, what this doing? Uh, you might get a bit of advice in the, the live chat. I'm not too sure. You're still driving and shooting, it looks like. Yes, that I don't get what I'm doing. Ha, 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 ha. I'm going back to the safe spot. You're doing all right for the moment. So, yes, if the, the live chat can respond and say, no, don't stream that frequently, or yes, we will still show up if you do one midweek. Mm -hmm. That'll help determine whether or not we do do that. And, uh, oh, oh, Kane's got school. What am I doing? Oh, I'm stuck. That's oh, your I'm driving stuck. again. Is that a police officer behind you? You're in trouble. Yeah. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Hey, move away. <laughs> That's it. Go in reverse. Follow the yellow stinky, says Kane. So you got to follow the the yeah. There's like a yellow symbol in the middle there. That's what you do. Thanks for that, Kane. Uh, so Kane's got school starting next week. Unlike here, they've got a one or two month break. I can't remember. I think it's one month. They don't start until February, March for the uni students because they're lazy like you, isn't it? No response from the stinky. Midweek, I'll probably be at school, so I don't know. So, yeah, there you go. Um, mm, it's a tough one. It's only because we're still trying to grow the channel. And um, when we're slow at uploading, it does affect things a bit. Take that, schmack. <laughs> nice one, stinky. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'll, I'll wait for more of the... DLG to show up to see whether or not uh, they would be willing to join us. I don't know how to control this thing. That's because you don't know how to drive, Stinky. You should still have your loser plates. Oh, so you have to drive me everywhere. Uh, you're, a, you're a great driver, Stinky. You don't need any assistance whatsoever. And Kane's saying don't pass the barriers. You seem to keep passing the barriers there, Stinky. I told you I can't control this thing oh wow i like the graphics on this one that's impressive you like graphic on everything i do i'm a graphics man not that i was ever good at drawing or anything like that at school uh slow down a little says kane see he loves this game he's going to give you heaps of good advice i think and i also don't know if it's multiplayer or not i believe the gta is I've only ever played that once. I didn't understand why it was so popular, but that's because I was really bad at it. I'm sure if you're good at it, it'd be a different story. Isn't it, Sting? No response from her again. You are concentrating quite a lot, which is good to see. And no one's taken me up on the, the topics of conversation yet. Hang on, what I'm doing? What are you doing there, Stinky? I can't actually see, so if I'm looking at the other screen, it's way what? behind. Uh, Click anything that's got a red thing on it, that's what I always say. That's nothing red. Oh, Kane's also saying, and for your information, there's an adult bar here. So did you want to go into an adult bar? How can I get out of this thing first? Tip. Get me out! No, that's... that's not tip! That's buy! Oh, but it's... Come on, use it, your magnifier glass. It's the only thing that's flashing. I don't want to do it! You might have to. You might not have a choice. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> you want to save everything it. you've got, isn't it? 
Hey. Oh, Kane's saying don't go into the adult bar. There you go, you've moved screens somehow, which is good. I don't have money to buy. Stinky, you've got to buy it. He, he says, it's like Clash of Clans. They force you to spend gems at the start. No, I didn't have to. Yeah, you did. Oh, didn't you? I thought you had to. It was a long time ago for me. Hey, LaserJet Sniper YT is here as well. Good to see you too. Uh, no, you're not late for the stream. Stinky was late to get started as per usual. Uh, Bo says GTA is my favourite game. I have hundreds of play hours on it and have spent hundreds of dollars on it. Whoa, that's a lot of money to spend on a game. What am I doing? And it, which uh, GTA in particular do you like, Bo Turner? Because I understand there's a few of them. But the most popular seems to be GTA 5, from what I can see online. There's a fair few others. I'm trying to get Stinky to get back into the Call of Duty franchise there with me, Stink. Next time I got money, I'm going to get a Poodot Stink Pants subscription. Whoa! Uh, that would be awesome if that happens, Laser Jet, but no pressure from us. We're just glad that you show up. Uh, we do hope to get more emojis one day and offer some better perks once we get a few more members. Hang on. I am planning on filming some videos, which may take some time. What, get... what is my objective, anyway? What is your objective there? Uh, Stinky Kane might be able to tell you. Well, you said he got bored of playing GTA so much. GTA Online, aka GTA 5. So there you go. It's number 5 I see gets played a lot. I guess it's been a long time since they've updated the franchise as well. Because, you know, it's like uh, any one of those franchises will come out with a new game hey, every now and again. But that one's been around for a while. And uh, LaserJet Sniper plays Minecraft. Which is one thing that we'll look at one day. Again, with the channel memberships, it might help me to get out of my scumbag status and possibly make a purchase for Minecraft, because that one's not free. Unless, um, well, I think Random said that you can get it for free uh, via the PlayStation, but you have to have a PlayStation account to do that, which means you've got to pay for, for that. So we might have to start forking out some money soon, Stinky. I'm going to use my Bluetooth uh, to hear so my parents don't know I'm up. Oh, we're keeping LaserJet up again because it's very late where they are. I remember last stream they said it was like 3 a.m., which is not good. Is it? Maybe we should start earlier. What do you think about a 10 a.m. start, Stinky? Is it too early for you? Yep. Too early for you. Every time it's too early for you. Uh, you can pirate Minecraft and get it for free. I think Random mentioned that as well, Bo, but we sort of don't want to do anything that's going to get us into trouble. That's my only concern, because, you know, when we're playing these games, they are public, so it's for all the world to see. I don't want uh, any developers to come after us for doing the wrong thing. Uh, yeah, I didn't do that. So, uh, what do you say, Stinky? You willing to fork out some cash for me? Too busy concentrating yet again. Uh, you talk too much, I miss information when they talk. Like, I don't know what is my objective. Oh. Like, I don't know where to press it either. Like, where is the objective? Well, I can see you follow a blue thing. Uh... Can my mum go shopping already? I need my Pepsi. <laughs> so you're coke. My time is actually running lower as well. Like I only have six minutes and now something sixteen seconds to do something. I'm like, what? There's a map. What am I doing? The map doesn't close in on you though, right? What you do you mean? Like a uh, what do you call it? Like a Fortnite map. I never do it. I never play Fortnite. Oh, like Zuba. That I one. never play Zuba. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you played Zuba like three, four weeks ago. What? The one where the map gets smaller and smaller. I don't think that happens in this game. Uh, what time it is in your country, Peter? So right now it's 12.30pm for us. So we've tried mixing up the, the uh, stream time in the past and it didn't seem to make much of a difference, but... 
I guess the the DLG has gotten used to us starting around you know 12 1 p.m our time on a Sunday so we've kind of stuck to that schedule because we like seeing you all that's the thing we look forward to it every week is it distracts us from each other isn't it stinky no <laughs> it's not I actually have to stuck with you here for oh, two yeah. hours <laughs> so disagree <laughs> Don't you like sitting here with me for two hours, Stinky? You just said it yourself, you want to get away. No, oh, I'm walking the other direction as soon as the stream's over, that's it. We'll turn our backs on each other and stay in silence, what do you reckon? Uh, yeah, you'd be happy about that. Uh, steal a car, says Kane. So that's like GTA, you go in there and steal somebody's car. Go driving around, committing crimes as you do. Uh, I'll go to the car. I'll go to the car park and smash a window and hijack the car. I hope you're only talking about the game there, Laser Jet. Don't do that in real life. Paul Danza. That happened to somebody I knew in real life. The car got. <laughs> Kane said, "Don't go into the bar." I didn't go in. This is. I get to one point and then. This is the next part of the story. Mm, looks like. You're such a pervert. Uh, do you have a PSN account? No, no. Because I'm in England currently, it's 1.30am. Uh, so it's, my maths is really poor. So what is it? Yeah. This is the thing. Um, when we look at our analytics, it does suggest that the best time for us to stream is around midnight say 11 p.m. onwards but that's such a, I mean 11 p.m. midnight that's when we go to bed I did do it once when uh, Stinky couldn't stream with me and uh, it wasn't easy I ended up having to take a nap uh, during the evening and then you know get up early for work and all that kind of stuff not much fun uh, but we'll see we'll see what happens possibly midweek might be different uh, PS4 is having trouble turning on. Kids, close your eyes. That's right, stinky. So much for the family-friendly channel when you're in there doing that. <coughs> Throw well, it off the list, Eiffel. We list as an adult channel, so... That is true. We, we have given the warning that it's not made for kids, is it? Throw it off the Eiffel Tower, then run over it with a uh, XIT67 tank I've never heard of before. Uh, GTA is worse because I don't have underclothes on. Oh, wow. <laughs> so there you go. Stinky, if you're in GTA, you wouldn't be, you'd be seeing flesh. All kinds of flesh there. Way worse, says Kane. Maybe we've picked the, the right game then, so it's a little bit more sanitised. Well, I hope this doesn't affect the old uh, green slash yellow symbol. We'll have to wait and see what happens there. Ah, uh, yes, I ran 30 miles per hour into a wall and then got uh, Beneral hemorrhage? Beranol. I've never heard of a Beranol hemorrhage before. You're the medical expert, Stinky. Have you heard of that? You want to talk or you want me to play? <laughs> play. But kids still play, it says Kane. Well, that's the thing. Uh, when what? The younger people are going okay. to, to play games that aren't necessarily recommended for their age group. I know I used to do that when I was very young. There is, uh, well, when I was very young, games are, were very different to what they are now, though. This is showing the age here where the computer had a green, green uh, text, basically. All the games were green. There was no other colours. They were pretty basic, but a lot of fun. You know, if you grow up on that sort of stuff. And then it uh, turned to the Atari, which oh, is... I don't like the angle of the camera. I don't know where it is. Hey. Can you swipe down? It makes a little bit of a difference there or it doesn't? Swipe down like what? It's only like, get me do this one. Oh. Well, you're good at running, so you're doing all right there. Uh, oh, I didn't know that GTA was 18 plus only. Gee, that's an adult game for sure. There is a YouTube channel called Zeo Works, and I'm helping him make a game. 
Nice one. So are you actually a game developer, LaserJet? Me and the boys are playing the Atari. So LaserJet actually knows what an Atari is. That's what I grew up as a first game console. I don't know. You don't know the old Atari? No. Nope. But you do know about the Game Boys, right? This is annoying. Like <laughs> you. I can't see anything and it's so slow. You're getting there. Climb, run, jump, you're doing it. See, it's so lagging. That is lagging a bit, isn't it? And there you go, you're running now. Maybe it's that music that's got you pumping. Why is Cyberpunk uh, 2077 menu theme on? Is that the, are you talking about the music in the background? Because that's actually a YouTube copyright free music. But I like it. Stinky, does it get you going? Get your heart racing? Uh, I can hear that. Oh, okay. You see, that's we sort of keep the, the music at the same level. I'd like to turn it up because it gets me going, but then you might not be able to hear the stink pants moan and groan Rah! like that. I don't know if I should be calling you stinky anything at the moment because I can smell myself. Uh huh. Sniff my pits. Nah, too fruity. <laughs> too ripe. I thought you. Li- <laughs> I thought you liked the ripeness of it. Of uh, what? My stink. Not your pits. It, it's a manly smell. If that's another type of fruit, it's worse than durian. You're telling me I smell worse than durian. That's a pretty big insult. Durian stinks. Mm-hmm. It smells like a garbage tip, you know. Have you ever driven past a garbage tip? That's what it smells like. No jokes. Uh, Roblox gets hacked. Is Cyberpunk like GTA? Because I've never played it before. Slendy Tubby's three first time. Uh, Slendy Tubby's, have you ever seen that TV show? It freaks me out. What? So, remember we had... Slender Tuppy? Remember one of my uh, family friends had their um, child stay with us for a while? Mm-hmm. And uh, when... You their, called it a child? <laughs> well, he wasn't a child by then, but, uh, you know, he was a child at one point. And I was at their house and the mother was saying to me, have you ever seen uh, Slender Tubbies, Telly Tubbies? Telly Tubbies, not Telly Slender. Telly Tubby, I know, but ah. Slender Tubby, I have no idea. I got it wrong because I'm an idiot. I'm talking oh. about Telly Tubbies. Oh. How that's a children's show is beyond me. Like, as an adult, I look at it and go, this is very weird. My youngest sister likes it when she was young. It's very, very strange. Yeah, your youngest sister's strange. So it did suit her perfectly. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> To your younger sister, who'll be watching the replay one day. Yeah, you're a weirdo. <laughs> nah, she's not. She's my favourite. I have no favourites. I like all the sisters. Why do you think it's so weird? It just doesn't do much. It's just, hello, here, and there, plop here, plop there. Oh, it's weird. Uh, yeah, and Bo Turner makes a good point that Quite a few people have said that they haven't liked that Cyberpunk 2077. It's only just been released and it's really had mixed reviews. A lot of the big gamers play it, but I have heard uh, quite a few things saying, hey, it is not that good. Oh, Telly TS, <laughs> Laser Jet corrected me. It's Teletubbies. Slender Tubbies 3 is a horror game. Uh, Cyberpunk. Punk was forced to be realised by fans because that that was the other thing I heard that this cyberpunk game took many many years and they kept putting off the release date. Uh, these open world games, you're actually playing a kind of open world game at the moment where you can go anywhere and do anything. I'm sure it takes a, a lot of effort to do that. And again, Laserjet, I'm curious because I didn't see an answer about whether or not 
you're actually a gaming developer because we'd like to talk to you privately about that. If you're not in the Discord yet, join the Discord because we had a gaming developer, if we can call her that, who is supposed to do something for us and nothing's happened yet. Uh, hi, listening to the ads before the stream. Thank you, Red December. I'm glad that uh, someone doesn't skip through the ads and actually listens to them. Although she's probably not going to hear that until the ads are over. Uh, Slendy Tubbies 2 is very scary. So, um, did you... Can you get that on mobile or is it a PlayStation game? Oh, and you do have Discord. So, let me just... Where is it? Discord. So, I'll just do that. And apologies uh, when you do join. I'm a little bit quiet on Discord just because I'm a pretty busy man these days. But uh, people will talk to you if you talk to them. Kane's pretty good at it. He's probably one of the more active members there when he can be bothered. Uh, I've been getting some weird ads lately. Oh, tell us more, Bo Turner. I'd like to know what kind of ads you've been getting because curious about that too when we see them. I must admit I've seen some strange ones in my time too. Uh, are on computer and laptop. So that's another thing that we really need to learn how to do. Are they free by the way LaserJet or you got to pay for them? We haven't really tried to stream any computer games yet. Do you think you'd be good at that? It's been a while since you've played a game on a computer. Yeah, it's been a while. The computer game is the first game I play. And you're a fast typist, so I'd be guessing that... Fast type doesn't do anything with this. It should. No. That if you've got the motor skill, that you should be alright at doing a computer game. Unless you're talking about the house up there typing. <laughs> have you seen it? No. It's pretty old, like, arcade game where you have to shoot, but they just develop it for typing practice purpose. Oh. Yeah, well, no wonder you're good at typing then. In that game before. Yeah, you Hit did. the boss. <laughs> <laughs> you like the games with the big boss, don't you? No, it, there's more than one boss. It's boss and then another boss, another boss, boss, boss. <laughs> Oh, and Bo's just brought up something else that I'm sorry to get an educational lesson through you, Bo, but I've even tried to read all of this online and I didn't quite understand it. What is OBS uh, streaming software? Because I know Streamlabs has got OBS and for that matter, uh, Omelette Arcade has got OBS as well, but I don't know what it means or how to use it or how it works. You're talking to an ignoramus. I'm an ignoramus. I'll admit it. You're not supposed to agree with me, stink pants. Uh, why not? Uh, thanks for joining the Discord Laser Jet. I'll um, have a look at that in a little bit as well. By the way, most developers besides me accept uh, hackers, exploiters as they can code. So you are a gaming developer. What would it take for us to have a game? The, the Poodot Stink Pants game. Because the one that uh, we looked at, how would you explain that to your, our little gaming developer friend who isn't really a gaming developer? It's like a template thing that you can use your artwork on, isn't it? It's not like starting from scratch. Because I'd imagine it'd take a lot of time and effort to do that. Good to be here. Good to see you, Red December. And random, both at the same time. Hello. Uh, it can code a lot. So, yeah, it is something that we want to do at some point, isn't it? To get the brand going. That's why we're trying to take advantage of, well, let's face it, it's just a sister that had an interest in it. And I haven't spoken to her for a long time, unlike you, Stink Pants. I didn't speak to her that much either. But it would be quite quick as I have other developers as friends really so how long would it take to get a game uh, going from I don't know if it's from scratch or they use a template code or how does it work and Bo Turner as well educational lesson on OBS if you don't mind we're turning this into an educational stream because no one wanted to talk about my topics of the day what is your topic 
uh, what was it? The definitions See? of community and filming in public and everybody's yeah, gangster and tell. We talked about it already. Oh, so it's very but brief. You didn't, you didn't say anything about it. So I'm going to have like 50 topics of conversation. You just ask me what is community and that's it. Is that your topic? <laughs> oh. <laughs> See this? This is what Stick Pants gets frustrated with old Uncle Poodot all the time. This is how she talks to me in private. She does. Don't you stinky? But it's true. Topic is something you can talk a lot about it. Not just like one question. What is community? Do you think YouTube is community? Yeah, that's yes, it. Yes, but I think... And th- so? I think there's... Expand. I think there is a big difference between community in real life and community online. Because we, put it this way... Now that you've got the internet and modern technology, there are people getting together that may never have gotten together in the past and things that were extremely underground and difficult to access and now very easy to access. And that concerns me. That's the good and the bad with, you know, basically the way the world is now. There's a lot of good. It means information flows. That's a very good thing. To have, but you know, there's information that maybe shouldn't be free for all and easily accessed. And then when you start having interests in things that, um, you know, let's say it's you're playing a, a fun criminal game, so to speak. If you have interests in criminal activity, I don't think that stuff should be widely available and should be cracked down on. But even on YouTube itself, I've seen a lot of it since I've been been uh, using YouTube. And it's quite scary. There are some scary communities out there that shouldn't really be able to talk to each other, but they do very easily. So what are your thoughts on that, Stinky? There you go, serious topic. Uh, but what I'm, is the question? <laughs> the, how would you view online communities where you can get together with people that are like-minded but like-minded in a not so good way how do i get to them why should i no not how do you get to them what do you think of of that is it a good thing or not really of course it's not a good thing so what would you do about it not get in to trouble <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that's you but as a greater greater community what would you do to try and prevent that stuff from happening or what do you think can be done and I say that because like without going into detail like clearly there, there was a community that I came across where they enjoyed people being filmed without their consent while they were asleep and doing things to them. It's very, very wrong. You know, it's scary that that's an actual thing and that there are communities based around that. It's very scary. I didn't like seeing it at all. It kind of scarred me a little bit. Uh, now, back to the chat. So, you can hire developers. We, we can. We hired a developer to try and do stuff for us off a template thing uh, I use ABS for my streams if you install it you'll need a certain Microsoft visual as well it will auto install if you don't have it already so we actually use Apple products so it might be a bit different we always had trouble with Streamlabs in the past when we wanted to do it it cut the stream after about 30 seconds but I suspect one of the problems is I'm still trying to get Stink Pants to set up a business PayPal account uh, because we can't figure out a way around it so that our names don't show when we uh, get PayPal donations. Because we're trying to keep our privacy for as long as possible. It'll get out eventually, I'm sure, but the longer we can keep certain things private, the better. So any more advice you've got there? I don't know if you can advise us, uh, Bo Turner, given that we're using Apple products, but I really want to learn uh, how to use Streamlabs because it's very complicated for your old Uncle Poodot. He's not too smart. Uh, Then you can put in a stream code, which you can get from YouTube stream page, which you can then press the stream button on OBS to go live. 
Well, Bo, Bo, you're in the Discord, right? I might have to uh, talk to you privately there as well. And yeah, so Bo said that he's been doxxed before. That's what worries me. Uh, a lot of access... Can, a lot of hacks... I can't even what? read at the moment. A lot of hackers can access lots. Too much for the game's good. So that's concerning, isn't it, as well? Uh, I agree. The government used devices to spy on people. I've got to be careful about reading this stuff out. Uh, yeah, there's no doubt about that. Uh, we even have to do it by law at the moment. It's not really spying, but whenever we go, I'm sure it's the same in lots of other countries now, but whenever we go and get a meal somewhere, you have to scan that, uh, what do you call it? Not a barcode. QR. QR to let, uh, the go I guess, let the government know that you've been there in case there's been an outbreak, which is sensible in that sense, I guess. It's better than having an actual tracking device, which, by the way, they have in Singapore. By law, they have to carry a tracking device around with them now, a little token, and there's a different token for the locals compared to the tourists. Did you know that? My auntie was telling me about that. How do I know? I don't live there. I thought I told you after the phone call. Guess not. Um, for instance... Slendy Tubbies uh, I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to say the H word a lot to get hidden stuff okay uh, listening but not able to type because I'm busy that's alright Red December we understand that people often tune into the live streams and they're not active in the chat but they're still there listening hopefully we don't bore you too much uh, I won't anymore as if uh, watching they can hack more yeah, I've just got to be a bit careful about how many times I use those words, I think. Uh, I was pleased IMG CSGO and someone leaked all of my details in the game chat. Oh, that's not good. No, Penguin. Hmm. Yeah, he hasn't shown up yet, but we can't expect everyone to show up all the time. Uh, playing CSGO. Uh, I'm not good at control the car here. You're not good at controlling cars in real life either, Stinky. Oh, you want to try? No. Nah. But I keep telling you, you with that handbrake not. thing, you don't listen to me about that. Uh, yes, it is Red December. So um, they had a very brag, uh, bad outbreak where they were multiple bad outbreaks. And the thing about Singapore is that, again, I've got to be careful how many times I say certain words the the thing about um the people of singapore oh is that God. they're very disciplined so oh when they're told that they need to do something they they don't resist and i don't think i know that people are going to have very different views about this but personally i don't think it's that bad Whoa. of a thing if you're you're uh party in power if you get what I'm trying to say here is good if they're doing things that uh, you know doesn't involve corruption and they're trying to protect the community and things like that then I have no problem with it because even uh, even ourselves have received comments over the last year where because they know that uh, I'm Australian they'll say oh you guys aren't standing up to your government anymore and it's like well some people are but the majority probably think they're silly for doing that because of how serious things are so yeah I mean they basically said once once it got bad over there they said right that's it we're going to start introducing these tokens and you must carry them now I do from my perspective I would have a bit more of a problem with that just because it is an actual tracking device uh, we have the option here so it's not a, a device that you carry but we've got an app that you can download on the phone that uh, basically tracks your movements but that's no different from what's already on your phone it's just allowing a, uh, oh, I keep having to stop myself from saying certain words yeah so anyway I think if you have 
choice is a good thing, but if things get very, very bad, then maybe no choice just to protect the community at large is not bad either. You know, a bit of fence sitting there. But uh, yeah, hopefully that answered your question there, Red December. Uh, Penguin would be doing his personal things like shopping. Oh, okay, so he might be a bit busy today. He does usually show up, but I understand that his life's getting a little bit more serious now. You know, now complicated. Yeah, getting a bit more complicated as it does when you end up having a partner. I wouldn't know anything about that. What do I stinky? Nah, because you still act like you don't have one. Oh, so Red December, I wonder if that's who, as soon as she said that, I'm wondering if uh, it's the person I'm thinking of. Uh, in fact, if you can answer this for us, because we were a bit surprised last night when it seemed like in uh, the US that things hadn't settled already when it came to, can I say the word parliament? Because I know if I start talking about this stuff, we might uh, get the little yellow symbol. But yeah, we thought it was all settled and uh, being elected had finished, but maybe apparently not. And maybe that's the person that you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Laser, laser Jet's asking for me. It's much better if the, the chat does it. But again, just be careful about the words you use. Because that can have an effect, but if you can talk... I wish we didn't have to talk in code, but we do. Uh, Stands for Counter-Strike. Oh, okay, Counter-Strike. So I've tried to research that game a bit, and it looks like it's not available uh, on mobile. But very, very popular as well. I saw it was one of the more viewed uh, games in the last week. So that's the stuff that I'm trying to get down a little bit. And there you go. So Red December's just confirmed that. Hmm, I don't know what to say about that. Is that affecting free speech or not? But having said that, some of the stuff that is being said, maybe they don't want it to be said. Again, what would you say, Stinky? Say what? In terms of if you have someone that has... A lot of influence and power. Does social media have the right to restrict what they say? Just because they they might say something controversial or whatever. Because you know how freedom of speech, it's, it's a tough one because you want to say you should be allowed to have it, but there still needs to be certain restrictions. You know, if you're doing things to incite particular movements or attitudes than no that that are very bad you know then you don't want to allow that sort of thing but for the most part um this is why i get a bit annoyed because i would like to talk about anything i'm quite happy to talk about anything it doesn't matter how sensitive the topic is um even the stuff that i'm trying to skirt around saying what it actually is where you don't want to promote these things, but talking about them is not so it's bad. It's just so complicated. What's going on? It this is, isn't and it? And that, and I want to talk about this. this that, uh, what? Because it is difficult to do. Because we get the yellow symbol. Oh, we got a lot of down thing, angry things from Dawson Ryan games. That's no good. Or Day Davison. I hope that's not about uh, us, but... Maybe you can clarify that as well. YT, <laughs> the longest word in English. I tried to pronounce that in the last stream. I can't do it. Uh, Peter should play Minecraft. We've been asked to do that quite a lot. So I've been saving it for once we reach a certain uh, goal. Um, no, I agree with you. Oh, hang on. Yeah, LaserJet's not sure if uh, Dason's referring to him or not. I don't know who he's referring to. We'll find out soon, hopefully. But everyone's got their own tastes, don't they? There's some things you like that I don't like. Some games that you like that I don't like. And food is a big one. There's lots of food you like I don't like. You can actually play... Yes, so but that one's... What is it? 10 or $11? I know that random 
YT, he actually told me how to, to get it for, without uh, spending too much money, if you catch my drift. But again, I'm a little bit cautious about doing things that we shouldn't do. And try and do the right thing at all times, Stinky. You might not always be able to achieve that, but you can always try. Would you know anything about that, Stink? No, you would not. Don't do the right thing or any other time, do you, Stinky? All right, I'm all talked out. That's it. I've got nothing else. Oh, that was the other thing I was going to suggest. Maybe we should have much shorter streams so they don't start waffling odd. Yeah, okay. Oh, you would agree to that. I'm asking the DLG. Uh... Five pounds on Android and eight pounds on iPhone. Oh, why is it more expensive on iPhone than Android? That's weird. <laughs> and Bo's saying, well, you can pirate it and just say that you paid for it. I might have to talk to Bo privately in Discord about that one. Do the step-by-step -step stuff. Uh, but we are saving, there's at least three games in particular. And I'm not even sure that we can do Fortnite anymore if they did ban it off the app store but we've still got it on the phone so yeah there was the Fortnite, the Roblox and the Minecraft that we're sort of going to save for special milestones if you will so if anyone's watching the replay and we hit 5,000 no, we're trying to hit 5,000k and preferably 10,000k subscribers do it do it now was that a funny way to say subscribe stinky we never say that in the streams. We should. Uh, oh, Red December likes the two-hour streams. That's good to know because I often wonder, you know, it's mainly me that's doing the talking and I think I get very boring after a while. I rely on the, the live chat quite a bit to keep it entertaining. So it's more the live chat and our DLG compadres than it is me or you, Stinky. See, that's what I get out of you. So I don't have to play a game anymore, yeah? Says who? Well, you just said it's not me too much, so... You're doing it now. Good stuff. Keep going. Uh, I don't know the Javanese currency. What is it? Do you know what Javanese currency is? You mean Indonesian? Yes. That's, is that Indo or not? I'm not sure. Because when it comes to translations, they've got Indonesian and Javanese. Oh, then that should be different. But, well, maybe a different kind, like, Indo is kind of big country. I mean, like, they got big islands separate around their country. They might have different dialect. Mm. Just like Chinese. You got Mandarin, you got Hainanese, you got Cantonese, you got so many. There is a place called Java though, right? I guess so. Google! <laughs> Google later. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Your guess is as good as mine, Peter. I actually have Roblox. Am I the only one who literally watches Penguin's entire 12 and 24 hour streams? Uh, probably. I can't stay awake for that long these days. Well, not often anyway. That's right, your sense of direction. Stinky both in-game and in real life. Nothing compared to mine. I get lost all the time, don't I? No response again from the Stinky. That's an epically long stream if you can do it for that long. Or does he just leave it on and go to bed? That reminds me of a, a video back in the day about Brad Pitt sleeping and how it was what? really, really popular. Yeah, that he filmed himself sleeping one night. Well, why just, it has to be? I guess because it was Brad Pitt. Mm -hmm. You know, all the little fangirls and possibly boys. And well, they want to see him sleep. And then there was something about... Uh, his hair, which I don't think celebrities will do anymore. But back in the day, they used to sell their hair. I'm not so sure they'd do it now, though. Uh, Anyone want to buy my hair? 
<laughs> yeah, I do. Can I shave off your head? We got the clippers. I'll make a little wig out of it. Uh, laser jet's very sleep deprived. Uh, so am I, but you still got to sleep every two or three hours. Uh, sorry, not every two or three hours. You still got to have at least a couple of hours sleep to be able to function. But I feel you, laser jet. Uh, if you have sleep apnea, is not a great thing. And Bo Turner seems he's sleep deprived as well. Stayed up till 4 a.m. last night. My goodness. I just don't want any more civil. Uh, yes, I won't finish that sentence. Max, 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 Max. Yeah, I heard about that as well. Um, how do I say this? It's it's a shame that because it doesn't just happen in America; it happens in other countries as well. But it's a real shame that um, you can't certain areas or certain countries you can't live there without fear to a certain degree and every you know everywhere is going to have at least some dangerous part where you live we're no different i'm sure there's some parts where you don't really want to go over night time but there's a big difference between what red december is talking about and the kind of stuff that we need to be careful of so it's a shame that 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 happens i honestly hope that Things will improve in 2021 for America, but I'm not holding my, my breath for that because it doesn't look like things have calmed down yet. And Hang on, so do they have a president yet? <laughs> well, that's the, the thing. I don't think they quite have one yet because the former one keeps protesting. So he keeps saying, oh, it's not legitimate, it's not legitimate, so... I'm not sure he's not willing to hand it over from is my understanding. I don't know if that's true or not. I sleep at 9 a.m. and wake up at 2 p.m. Whoa. Uh, might do an all-nighter, says Bo. My goodness. That is a that as a habit habitat is in, inadequate. I'm struggling to read at the moment, stinky. Look at them, they're all gonna stay up. God. The game is kind of laggy. Yeah, it's very it laggy. Is. And I'm starting to get annoyed with it. <laughs> I don't know why. I've switched off the Wi-Fi and all of that kind of stuff, so it shouldn't be that. There might be something else going on. Mm. Did you guys have a shopping, big shopping, during Christmas and New Year? Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that, didn't I? Yeah, we have a new member of the family. <laughs> yes, we do have a new member of the family. Tell us, Stink Pants, what's the new member? Robot. The robot cleaner. You love the robot cleaner. I use it you? every day since I got it. <laughs> you have used it oh, a okay. lot. Maybe not the very first day because I have to recharge it for maybe almost seven hours before use. But after that, every day. <laughs> <laughs> Including today before streaming. And it keeps the cat entertained too, doesn't it? Do you think the cat is entertained? She follows it around. But is it because she is sort of like, what's this? <laughs> it is more like, what's this? I want her to use it like a taxi to uh, sit on that thing. That she already a fat cat, so I hope she's not. <laughs> I want to say it. The thing is... Um, it got to function mainly, vacuuming and mopping. And it talks to you and maps out the entire house. Yeah, it can talk to you as well. Oops. And, but it's not really talking because it's just say what it's doing. Like I'm recharging, I'm returning to the dock or whatever. But you won't get response, you know, you can't really talk like... Um, Amazon or other kind of AI. Radio voice time. Okay. You know, Stink Pants actually talks to the robot. <laughs> she talks to the robot. Stinky, you're mad. Uh, there is a prediction that 2021 is the year of the aliens. Wow, maybe that might happen. I don't have to wake up the house anymore. Hell yeah. 
Stink Pants doesn't have to vacuum up the house now, says Laser Jet. No, I'm not doing it now. Why I'm preparing before streaming? Clean I just my... let it done. Kane says, clean my room. Would you go travelling with your bot? No, it's too big. You yeah. got, you can get the smaller bot for the smaller space. It's actually good for, you know, kind of small walkway or that kind of things. I told my sibling we bought a bot. He said, I've got two of them. So does my dad. <laughs> Why do you need two? And he said, well, we've got two floors. This robot that I bought, there is a multiple floor function as well. So it can detect if it's a stair, it won't go down. But if you're afraid, it will. Then you just put something to obstruct the way. Really? Yeah. And it, is it that this one or This no? one. This one, you can use it just one to mon multiple floor house. So it will detect if there's stairs there? Yeah. That's incredible. It can. No wonder you're talking to it. Uh, oh, I, I just put it in the toilet. And, and locked it in there. Lock it in there. <laughs> and you kept talking to it. Like, are you finished? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe it when I walked in on that. <laughs> you talking to the robot. Have you finished yet? You're not allowed out until you're finished. <laughs> Oh, well, you know, it got problem to clean up behind the door. So I, I helped them by locking it up in there. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you lock the cat and I into various rooms as well? You're not allowed out until you do this or do that. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that's funny. Laser Jet said they had a good Christmas and New Year's. Red December, you watch so much Simpsons. Sink Pat, oh no, I read that one already. Technology, either you love it or you hate it. And I'm one of the haters. Well, he doesn't mind. I like the van. <laughs> <laughs> Robot cleaner. So far, he doesn't like AI because he's afraid of it's taking over the world. Yep. But then he loves the robot. The one that can't think by itself That's right. <laughs> too much. That robot clean is awesome. It does a better job of cleaning the house than I do. That's actually true. Yeah, because it can go underneath something. I'm surprised how it can get under there and do its thing. That's good. And it even detects you as a... I, I explain to me how it detects you as a person. You're just standing there and then it's like, I'm not going to go and bump into you. Oh, it might do a little... A little bit of the bump when it, you know, touch the ch furniture, like table or the chair. But it's not big bump, this one. And did you see the small kind of square thing on top of it? Yes. It, it will, like, do some kind of detection from there. Like a laser. Oh, something. really? So it will detect if there's a... Stair, so it won't go down. It will detect like if there is a wall, so it can map it in the apps. Right, I did see it doing the old map thing. Mm. That was amazing. Congratulations on your robot vacuum. I bought a shark vacuum two days ago, and it works great. What's a shark vacuum? It's funny how I send a message, Peter and Stink Pants have an entire conversation about it. That is true. That's what we like to do. When the, the live chat uh, says something that we can expand upon, we love it. Don't we, Stinky? Awesome pugs there. Nice one. Good to see you too. Uh, AI is very odd. I'd love to talk about that too mm -hmm. as well. Some of the stuff I've seen online about what... Uh, the, the most advanced AI robots have done mm. is extremely scary. So I don't know if you heard the story about Facebook had to turn off their AI bots at one point because they discovered that they were writing a new language between themselves so that they couldn't be understood by people. Think about that. That's scary. Then uh, the other examples when they have two of them talking to each other, wow, those conversations get very scary. I think because they lie to each other so much. The, the amount that they actually lie is incredible, plus some of the stuff they actually say. 
that's scary too. So yeah, it puts a few in me. Oh, and by the way, YouTube AI bot, we love you. Yeah. <laughs> don't get me into trouble with that one. <laughs> oh, but I reckon if your family got like two machine, they should have one vacuum and another one is mopping. The one we got is multiple function, like dual function, but mopping is kind of crap. So I've asked you this before, would you get one of those, um, what's it called? The, what? Uh, what? 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 The, what? There's two of them, the Amazon one and the Google one? Uh, what are they called? Why am I having a mental block the over The AI this? thing? Yeah. Where they talk to you like, talk, talk? Yeah. Uh, nah, it's just too much of the muchness. Um, it's going to make me lazy. What are they called? I forget the names of both um, of them. You know what I'm talking about. That's going to annoy me, but I'm sure the live chat will know. Yeah. Ah, Alexa. Alexa. Oh, yeah. There's one. And then what's the other one? Alexa and somebody else. I don't know. Can't remember. I'm not that interested. I don't even talk to Suri. It scares me. Scares me. That's your name that you named him. The live chat not gonna know who you're talking no, no. about. Sugal is the one that <laughs> I talked to Sugal. Not Suki. Suki is not the name as well. Sugal. <laughs> the Suri for Google no, Maps. No, not Suri. Siri. Oh, Siri. Ah. Yeah, Siri and Sugal, same thing. I'll talk to Sugal because she doesn't talk back, but not Siri. Oh dear, all of the our bots in the world are listening to this live stream now. That scares me. Uh, solid FPS. If stink, stink pants turn down the graphics, it would not lag. So can you turn down the graphics in the game so that it's not so laggy? Uh, how can I do that? Hang on. Maybe Kane can tell you how to do that. Uh, I hope I get my Takis and Pepsi from the store. I wouldn't mind trying a Takis. I've never had one of those. It's Mexican food, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong with that one as well. You're wrong. You wouldn't know. Which one? Is it the motion? Um, what did he say before? Oh, is it is it on? You want to turn it off, but no one complained about it. No, because I do it before the stream starts. Right. Which one did he say? So they talked about the FPS. Both said the FPS. But I'm not too sure what that is. Oh, no. I, it's frames per second, I believe. I just don't know how you would turn that off. If there's anything that says frames per second. Uh, FX? 200,000 Pepsi bottles going and 2 million more on the way. I can drink 12 Pepsi cans. Kane, don't do that. Don't do that, Kane. <laughs> See, Artie Stink Pants has taken the mum role and Uncle Poodot's taken the dad role. Honestly, for the young people out there, don't drink that much soft drink because you're going to pay for it later on in life. Yeah, especially not just diabetes, but also the teeth. Yeah, it's not that The not sugar good for you. plus the, you know, what, what do you call that? The carbonate thing mm. in the fizzy drink, it's not a good mixture. Mm. If just the fizzy drink, like more water, soda water, Mineral they said water. it's not too bad. Mm. But if it has sugar in there as well, oh, it's like a acid rotten your tea. True. It's not good. The only time I really advocated is when you're sick. Sick. I'll drink a lot of lemonade when I'm sick because it makes you feel better. And it's uh, easier to drink than water or juice. This day they got sugar-free one. So you can have that as well. Lemonade, sugar-free. And plus, there's so many kind of drink you can drink during when you're sick. Like honey, lemon, ginger yeah, tea. that's good. I'll drink it's, that as well. It doesn't have to be lemonade. Or you just chuck lime or lemon in the water. Mm. That's good enough. I don't like drinking straight water when you got the sore throat and everything. It doesn't feel nice. It's better really? than nothing, though. You know, um, because I also have some Chinese background, they use some herbal medicine during when you cough. cough. 
that's what you want. I'm talking about flu, not cough, cough. Ah, Alexis, I did uh, clarify. Thank you for that, uh, Bo Turner and Google. So just straight Google. How do you not climb the walls drinking that much? That's true. Siri, Siri and Google. Ah, and Alexa. Hello, I'm Siri, your virtual assistant. That scares me. How is it possible that the robots were creating a language people couldn't understand? How can robots talk amongst themselves? This is what AI is. It's a self-learning technology. So yeah, it's just like human. Human, we can create language. Yeah. So they can. Yeah. You know, very clever people can also... Like Tolkien, you know Tolkien? Yeah, he Who created, wrote The Lord of the Ring? He created, created his own language. language. Yeah. yeah. So it's, no, it's different. no different. No different. So if you allow it to become as powerful as what they are allowing AI technology to be... Then yeah, it's only a matter of time. Elon Musk has warned about it, and he's got the lar- either the largest or second largest AI uh, company in the world, and even he's saying it's dangerous. Then why he produce it? Good point. I don't. I think here we're getting into the whole science fiction, not so much science fiction. And bear in mind, these are not new concepts. So before there was actual. Uh, technology of this type uh, writers were writing about it for for a long time and I think now that you do have the ability to create it it's almost a self-fulfilling prophecy that would that it will get to the point where they will the the thing that you've got to be worried about is the self-awareness and I think they're there already if you've you know either google or just youtube these guys talking to each other and you'll see what i mean about how they talk to each other the things that they say and the awareness that they have it's truly quite frightening have you watched bicentennial man i believe so a long time ago that's the robot that mole function yes and then turns out he become AI because malfunction, and he can create a lot of nice clock. Laserjet saying uh, SFX is graphics, so turn down SFX. And also, one said it's sound effect. You miss it. All right, no SFX is sound effects. Oh wait, oh you're right. You know what's going on. I don't. I'm way behind in the chat. Yeah, but I couldn't find what he said. VFS. Oh whatever. VFX. Yeah, I couldn't find that. Can try it again. Anyway, back to that movie. People yes. likes to like. It's basically two side, I guess. Some people predict that AI would be good, and you know, one day they want to become a human, like Bicentennial Man. If you watch, then you should know what I'm talking about. It even go insert the blood. In their body to be a human. What? <laughs> and therefore, it died at the end of that movie too. Oh, spoiler! <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, so you should be doing this spoiler alert in case anyone hasn't but seen it. But it's the movie. very old film. It is an old film. It's, it's good though. It's, it's a good one. My mom likes this one. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you so, should watch. Yes, I agree. So, to answer Red December's question, Pretty much just type in uh, Facebook AI bots, uh, AI's shut down and you'll get information just from that. Whether you can do it on YouTube, even if you wanted to watch a video, there's quite a few videos about it. Excuse me, the hiccups and the burps are starting. Mm -hmm. Oh, there goes another one. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there'll be uh, plenty of information about that. Um... When you're doing general search terms on on this sort of stuff, you know, I'd say things like scary things AI bots say or um, Facebook AI creating its own language, they'll get you your results that you're wanting to look for. Mm. My favourite film was Stand By Me. Oh, I've seen that quite a few times myself. I didn't 
know that. I thought it's the name of the song. And I that's tried to get you to watch it, and you still haven't yet. It's like I'm lost interest or something. What kind? You don't like the the old films, generally speaking. When I say classic, and same with the books, I tell you, there's classic. No, 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 books no, no. no. All and classic are different. Oh, well, classic <laughs> film then. Stand classic by me is, is a classic uh, film. Like Gone with the Wind is ah. Uh. This is again showing my age a bit here, but. The, the actors that were around then were the A-list young actors of my generation. Unfortunately, one of them passed away when he was only 21 or 22, River Phoenix. But his brother's still around, Joaquin Phoenix. He played the Joker in the recent Joker movie. He's not any... No offence to Joaquin. He's nowhere near as good-looking as his brother was. Mm. Like, his brother was a superstar and then just died young. Um, and some of the others, they never, they had big careers in the 80s and 90s, but um, sort of faded into oblivion after that. Yeah, they didn't really stick around for too long. They're still out there, still doing stuff, but uh, maybe not as well known to the, the uh, younger people of today. Is a song, but it's, so you're not wrong, Stand By Me is a song as well. Benny King, there you go. You can even play it, can't you, Stinky? Huh? What? What? I taught you how to play Stand By Me. If you can remember. Nah. Train. Ever heard of the YouTuber Steve Cash? No. Who is that and what are they about? All about the cash money. I only know Steve Job. I don't know Steve Cash. You only know Poo Dot Stink Pants. Eh. Isn't it? So it's either AI is good, want to be a human, or they just want to rule the world. Well, here's the thing, though. Do you... The, the premise I will give you is this. This is why I have a semi-negative okay. view uh, of all of this. Once they achieve self-awareness, then self-preservation has to kick in, right? Because even every life form on the planet just about except for maybe amoebas and things like that but you know all animals insects so on to a certain degree have self-preservation in their in ingrained in their dna even an ant has that it's going to run away from you if you try to squash it right or if you try to put a magnifying glass on it try and burn it or whatever it's going to run in the other direction true now, if a robot gets to the point where it realises it can be turned off and turning it off and it realises that turning it itself off is terminating its life, so to speak, mm -hmm. then wouldn't it be looking at things, ways to prevent that from happening? Mm -hmm. That's what I'd be thinking. This is the whole thing about artificial intelligence that it's a self-learning technology if it's not restricted and you make it more and more powerful it's going to get to that point of self-awareness and once it does that it's going to do things to try and preserve itself and that's where it gets extremely scary because it might look at the, its creators as the enemy would say, you know, you're the ones that can turn me off. Oh yeah, you remind me of one alien movie, Prometheus. Oh, I've heard of it, but have I seen it? I don't think so. You know the alien franchise? Yeah. Start with Ripley, you know, yeah. one, two, three, one, two, four, three, five. Four, yeah. And then they kind of make a that's, zero. That's one. where I've heard it. And it's called Prometheus instead of Alien. It's where, like, Try to tell the story where it come from. And at that point, we create an AI bot that looks like human. And that AI bot kind of want a revenge on human. Oh, wow. So, therefore, when they go out to outer space, they try to get the alien. <laughs> Scary thoughts. Because the alien was used in the alien war, like, you know, different species <coughs> before. And it's like a machine or something, like biological or something machine that you can mix their DNA with other kind of creatures. 
And this AI bot try to mix with human to kill human, so they create a new life form. This stream's turning into a complete not a horror story. What? <laughs> <laughs> so to bring it back a bit there, Red December says my favorite movie with River Phoenix is My Private Idaho. I know that film. That's got a young uh, Keanu Reeves in it too. What is it about? So this guy suffers from River Phoenix suffers from narcolepsy, so he just falls asleep suddenly. Huh? Oh, and I've it's, never seen that. Yeah, it's it's. To be honest, I struggled with it a bit because it was a slow film. I actually fell asleep at one point, um, and the theme. I gotta again gotta be careful because of the old yellow symbol that um, it deals with. Let me just say sexuality and leave it with that as well. And you know, being possibly being taken advantage of that sort of thing. Oh, we've got uh, another language here. Let's get this in there. I'm so slow. I'm going to guess that that's Spanish. I could be wrong. Portuguese. Hang on, I don't even know how to play this thing. <laughs> uh, what, what am I doing? I don't know. Double, whatever. Oh, uh, maybe not double. Uh, huh? I win? How? Never mind. I, I'm not playing it again. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? That's. Is... I don't know how to play, but I won, so that was luck enough. Well, let's go. <laughs> anyway, um, I doubt like many kind of mental or physical illness in the movie are real. Like you know, you just mentioned what what just suddenly sleep. Narco narcolepsy. Narcolepsy, and there's another one we watched in the recent Joker film, where you laugh. Yeah, and I saw a real life video of a person that suffers from that. What does that call? Um, like, is it real? Is it really real? This sort of thing, I, because it's kind of rare, and I never seen it. I'm not saying it's not real. I'm just wondering. I want to know if that's really real. The the laughing thing it is. I've seen a person that suffers from it. How about narcoleptic? Yeah, that's very real. Too really? Yeah. You just fall asleep suddenly. Yep. Whenever, wherever. Yep. Weird. Mm. There's the human condition is very strange. Um, there are so many because the human brain is so diverse it's almost like anything that you can possibly think of there's probably a person out there that thinks like that uh, feels like that has some sort of adverse effect like that it just keeps going on and on mm. like the sorry it's bringing me back to the whole uh, community thing I had no idea that uh, what I saw was an actual thing that people enjoyed. I think it's disgusting myself, but, you know, to each their own song is you're not harming anyone, but they were harming people because it was non-consensual. So I don't agree with any of that. Uh, Put on stink pants have fluent English. Well, I do. Stink pants doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Me no speak English. Uh, this is the first time I'm hearing this. Yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff out there, Red December, that... Um, again, I'm so sorry that I have to speak in code and not be just straight up about mm. some things that I know that are out there. I guess mental health is really kind of new thing you compare to physical illness. And many people like in the Asian world, if you call it that, they not really open about it yeah. that much, yeah. and yeah, it's, it can be scary as well. And they try to hide it. So when they come to like Australia, for example, and you you kind of more open about it and you, you educated about it a bit more, but mm. still, there's more research need to be done and whatnot. 
They mm. what do you know what they say? They told me, oh, Aussie has so many mental people mm. everywhere. <laughs> There's probably quite a lot. But I would I'm say. pretty I'm sure saying... it's quite a lot in Asian too. They just try Don't, to hide. Yeah, it. exactly. And they not talk about it. But you think about human history, it's not that long ago that you would just be deemed crazy and that's it. Yeah, and there is no no study or no um, clarification of well, what kind of. Uh-huh. And just a decade ago, that we start to recognize mainly from movie, you know, the multiple identities multiple disorder. Personality disorder, yeah. Yeah, that's because they use too much of them. <laughs> In the horror film or thriller, mm-hmm. as a twist, oh, this guy has so many identity, mm. and so we know about it. Yeah, that's but right. But it's, it's it's actually not new thing in human world, but we just recognize it. Maybe 20, 30 years ago. Um, have to give credit to Hollywood. Mm. Both psychology and psychiatry have not been around for that long. It's a relatively new. Um, medical understanding what am i oh where am i trying to speak russian no i don't think there's any russians here at the moment if you have narcolepsy you fall asleep when you get excited or scared there you go bo knows his stuff it sounds like uh, cardiac arrest yeah my friend's uh calling me i gotta head out see you later thank you for staying as long as you did bo turner it's a pleasure talking to you and learning from Goodbye. you Hopefully we'll see him in the next one as well. Mm. It's good when we see the DLG all of the time. Uh You know, having said about cardiac arrest, you know, panic attack, it feels like you have cardiac arrest Mm. as well, but you don't. (laughs) But yeah, I've seen seen that on like TV shows where people say, I'm having a heart attack and it's just a panic attack. Yeah. Mm. You're not going to die because of panic attack. It's just that, like, um, a symptomatic that um, is alert too much, your body alert too much. Mm. When you find something scary or something stressful, then you just basically go panic attack, too much alert, and therefore your heartbeat is getting high up there, and yeah. It just feel like you're gonna die, it feels like heart attack, but it's not. Mm. Never had one of those, I don't think. Uh, You don't want to have one. Because when you have one already, right? And then you will be scared to have that condition again. And sometimes you just avoid it. Which is not good. Because you get fear, because you will get fear. Do you understand it? Yes. Yeah. So even though it's not there, it's just that. So not good, but it can happen, and people can mistake it as the heart attack. Mm. Got to be careful. And then I guess you've got other things like, sh- what's the difference between a panic attack and shock? Because you can die. Can you die from a panic attack? You can die from shock. Animals die from shock. You can shock die from shock, but I don't think anyone can die from panic attack. Right. You ever had that? I'm surprised. I think I've had shock before in my life. But not that, you know, not to the point where you're going to lose your life. But How do you feel? Oh, it scares your pants off. It's. Did you unconscious? Not what happened? Un- Why? What shocked you? So there was... Not uh, the car accident? <laughs> yeah, no, not even that. It was... um. The, I'm, sure, I'm just trying to think how many times it's happened. One one time I think I've mentioned before was when you you play that game in the pool where you'll have someone on your shoulders and then you'll be they will fight with someone else on uh, shoulders of another person as well. So you know you've got four people there, one's standing on the pool and he's got a person on his shoulders, another person standing there. They got a person on their shoulders, and the two people on the shoulders fight with each other. Well, not physical fight, but wrestle with each other to try and topple you over. Mm-hmm. 
and so I was the guy that was standing there with someone on my shoulders. Hang on, pull what? 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 So you'll just grab the person, you'll try and push and pull until you know. This they... is when you play the polo in the pool. In or... the pool, yes. Yeah, sorry. And so that happened, and my guy got pushed over, and so I lost my footing, but he wouldn't get off me. Like you're supposed to get off the person once you're in the water, but he wouldn't. He's still there. And so I felt like I was drowning at one point. It, I couldn't get up. And I did. I went into shock of sorts, but it wasn't really severe. I, I was really annoyed when I got up and quite scared because I was out of breath. You know, you get to the point where you... I was very close to wanting to take a breath of yeah. water. Mm. You know, and that's yeah, scary. It's very scary to go through that. So yeah, there you go. I'd say that's one experience. Mm. I know I've had more than that, but it's never been really severe. You know, I can imagine, let's say you've been in a serious car accident, you're probably going to go through a pretty pretty severe shock. Yeah. Whoa, it just turned dark for quite a bit there, didn't it? We're talking about all kinds of dark stuff in this stream. How do you keep them all lighthearted and entertaining? Well, sticky? this is the gangster one. We talk yeah, well, about that's the dark true one. Too. <laughs> that is true. The longest I can hold my breath is three minutes. That's a long time to hold your breath. You know, it's a, what do you know about free divers, Stinky? Do you know anything about? Look at me going on to another topic there. Free diver. Um. I know the one of the Indonesian tribe are very good at it. Yes. But I can't remember the name. And have you seen the one where they go down on the rope with weights? Uh, not sure. Uh, no, I'm not even sure they have weights, but they would have flippers at the very least. Yeah. But this guy are the sea people where he, he can just go three meters or whatever, like without nothing. Mm. Nothing. Mm. And they do that because they're collecting uh, seafood for the yeah. market, right? Yeah, for the living <coughs> day, like they're like a mermaid. <laughs> but the actual professional sport, say so they'll go somewhere into the deeper ocean mm -hmm. to do it, and they'll have a piece of string that's weighted down, and they basically just challenge themselves to go down there and then back up again. And then, strangely enough, I saw a free diving training centre that they've got somewhere in the world. So it's on land, but you know, it's like a pool that's very, very, very deep. It's insanely deep. I've never seen a pool that goes deeper than I think three metres myself, ten feet. I've never seen a pool deeper than ten feet. Right. Although, uh, no, I do. I lie. Some of the diving pools go a lot deeper than that. But not free diving. That was incredibly. Uh, you just YouTube, you know, free diving swimming pool and probably show up somewhere. Mm. Mm. Well, so that means they train themselves. But for yeah. these sea people guy, they kind of born they, like they, that. They develop yeah. already like a sort of mutant or whatever generational thing mm -hmm. you know it's you... generational thing there's something just like the uh, people who live in the mountain region you yeah. know they have the different kind of lung capacity that's for the sea people I guess Think about or, the... and all so the red blood cells that they might carry more oxygen yeah think about the Sherpas in the Himalayas mm -hmm. you know they not enough credit is given to how athletic they are, I reckon. Because oh. you'll have people... It's so different now when it comes to Mount Everest that uh, they say it's a... Certain sources will say it's a very bad thing that uh, the tourism there means that anyone with enough money can go and climb Mount Everest. Uh -huh. You don't need to be a skilled climber. You don't even need to be fit. You've just got to go with the tour group at the right time and, you know, hopefully be of a good enough level where you're not going to die there. Mm -hmm. Plenty of people do every year, though. Mm. And then the Sherpas, they've got to do it 10, 12 times, 20 times, 30 times. Mm -hmm. And they're carrying stuff as well. 
that's the other thing. These tourists that go, they don't carry their own stuff. The Sherpas do it all for them. Yep. And do you know that, um, what I was about to say, forgot. Suddenly mental block. <laughs> <laughs> You're a mental block. Uh, what I was about to say. Can't, still can't think of it yet. Uh oh. Hey, stop, 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 stop. There is a did you know that? Yeah, did you know that something? What I'm about to say, I forgot. Oh, yeah. You can't travel by plane right straight to like Tibet or something like that high mountain like that. You have to start to adjust yourself, go slow. In a plane? You can't buy the tra plane, you have to go by train. Or climb. Oh, right, right, right. Think I about if you don't want to climb, right? You just want to visit like a tourist thingy. You can just go straight from, you know, Melbourne, fly to Tibet. That's yep. not gonna happen. And because you, you can't adjust it. You have to go to somewhere else, like kind of sort of hilly region, high, high above from the sea, but not as high as Tibet. And then you take the train from there to Tibet. You know why? Altitude sickness. Uh huh. I have experience already. Really? Like when I went to China once, and they have like a south southwest of China. I think is a mountain region where you can load on the train, catch a train, and go to Tibet. So it's kind of high altitude. But not super high yet, so you still can fly there. So when I go there, no symptom yet. But when I fly back, ah, uh, when I was, well, no, when the plane start to like descend, my eyeball is feeling like it's gonna explode. Really? Like it's kind of hurt. Which is not a good feeling. But my, I, I'm still not blind. I'm still okay now. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I can, I can imagine that. Oh, I'm not gonna do that again. <laughs> I will go slow down the hill, let my body adjust and whatnot. Oh, you need a body adjustment, all right. You too. Hey, hey, hey. What are you poking my fat belly for? Don't forget you do elliptical for the day. The old elliptical you reckon. Get back on it. I'm really thinking of my friend's suggestion to buy like a rest, no ring rest or some sort of exercise gaming for you. Which I can also play too. <laughs> it's more fun. Are you going to play it with me? Yeah, I like dancing game. Yeah, you do. You like to dance, don't you? You got the moves. Uh, I'm not sure about that. That's why I need someone to show me, I mean, game. <laughs> show me what to do. <laughs> well, I'll show you what to do, all right? Oh, stinky. That was an animated conversation. I'm all talked out. Really? Yep. You know I don't like to talk in real life. I just sit there in silence. Nah. <laughs> Stop lying. You're not supposed you to... talk too much. That's my silence. <laughs> Talky walky. Yep. You, on the other hand, quiet most of the time unless you got something to say and then I can't shut you up. Isn't it? Yeah, I'm excited for my new family member, Robot. Should I name him or her? Albert? Albert? <laughs> Albert? What? That's so... This is a robot cleaner, not a royalty. Why are you gonna name him oh, Albert? Oh yeah, that is a royal name, isn't <laughs> it? Hey, yeah. Uh, what the? <laughs> credit where credit's due. It's a royal cleaner. It's better than what uh, I could do. Uh, how about Wall E? <laughs> well, 
Yeah, yeah, trying to name it after a movie now, eh? I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me if later on today you are going to dub the name the robot something, isn't it? You treat it like a little human being, don't you? That's only when they clean the toilet and bathroom. (laughs) (laughs) That's true. I couldn't believe you're actually trying to have a conversation with it. But then again, so was I when it talks back. Because I can't... It didn't talk back. It just said what it's doing. But I can't understand it when it says that. I know it says something, but I don't know what it's actually talking... When When it's back, it will say... Please help me. Is that what it says? I think, but I'm not sure. See, you don't know either. It's chatting away there and you're like, what? And then when it chat, I'm recharging. <laughs> I'm recharging. But does it recharge? Hang on. Huh? Does it recharge when you plug it in? or? No, it just goes straight to the dock. Really? By itself. You're kidding. What? You never seen I it? I didn't see I it. I use it too soon. So many times. So it just says, I'm off, I'm recharging, and then it goes to its own dock. So when when we put it on cleaning duty and it's just running low on battery, it will go back to that dock by itself. Really? We don't even have to press the button. You're kidding. Mm. This but you might have to press resume, I'm not sure. I'm kind of scared at this point. If we if we let something well, actually no, I don't care, it cleans the house. <laughs> It does a great job of cleaning the house. Not really too fussed about anything else at this point. What do you think, Stink? Mm, it's good. I like the vacuuming part. Not so much mopping, but I guess it can be developed later. It has to be improved, or maybe you have to buy a different separate machine. And you'd be all about mm. that. Yeah, but not this year. This year we're gonna use this one. It's awesome. If you have enough money to buy, I recommend. Am I allowed to ask how much it's where it costs? Because I don't know. Just it's know that, expensive. Ah, oh, that'd be right. Well, to be fair though, it's, it's probably money well, well spent, really well spent. You and reckon? Oh, yeah, because it does a much better job than I do. <laughs> what? And now I don't have to do that job, so that's a bonus. That sounds like you really do a half half job. <laughs> Although I will question its um, mopping ab- ability, whether yeah. that's worth paying for. Because mm. it doesn't do a good job of that. No, but half half job better than nothing. Yeah, it does make the place smell nice. And I don't plan to mop it every day anyway. <laughs> no, you need some elbow grease for that one, don't you? Oh, geez, the live chat's gone rather quiet for a while now. It's just you and me, Stinky. Oh. And then can you talk to yourself for a bit while I go and have a break? I, I need toilet. So do but I. I need toilet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you go first. Quick. Uh, I like the robot on the animation called the Jetsons. Yeah, do you remember the Jetsons cartoon? I think her name was called Rosie. She was like the, the maid. So they had a robot maid in the... You don't know the Jetsons? No, I don't. It's an older cartoon, like in the days of uh, Tom and Jerry oh. sort of stuff. Uh, I don't know that. I don't watch Here's it. George Jetson and his wife Judy. I don't mm. know if that's the words at all. <laughs> Kitty Gaming, what is the goal of this game? We have no idea. Do you know what the goal of this game is? There are many side quests which like, you kind of have to go around the... Game and then you collect something along the way, and then you have to do the side quests, which might require you to collect some stuff to hit the limit. I really don't know, but basically you just expand your power. <laughs> mm. And if it's uh, if you know GTA Five at all, Kitty Gaming, it's like or GTA, Ooh. whatever the versions are, it's like that. Let's so. do the main. But free, if you wanted to try it. You can download it to your mobile phone. Is that the first time you've gotten on a motorbike? Yep. Nice one. You go, you'd be able to do all kinds of stunts on that thing. <laughs> yeah, wheelie! <laughs> you do that, start jumping over stuff. Nope, no, I looks... can't. 
They don't have any jumping in here, I don't think. Oh yeah, if you can find something. No, not to, in this town. You just gotta find something that you can leap off of. You'll be I'm fine. I'm just not quite understand how to, like, uh, what do you call? <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, uh, it's just weird. You can only press left, right, and then accelerate here and go back there. It's just weird. <sighs> You're doing all right. There you go. You almost jumped over something then. Nice one. See those ah, sleepy looking... No, <laughs> those sleepy looking hills there. I'm sure if you got enough uh, speed going up one of those things. Or that. That looks like a ramp too. What ramp? Oh, you've given up That's on the motorbike the already? Yeah, I already broke it. What? <laughs> you kind of have to steal the car and bikes anyway so we'll find a new one i was getting excited about you being on that bike but you destroyed it already yep i don't i told you in this game in particular i'm not sure how to navigate it I'm just watch <laughs> i was just because i'm watching the other screen and see the replay of you doing a <laughs> wheelie into the fence <laughs> kaploosh no different from real life, is it? I think you're spending way too much time on foot. Are you going to toilet or not? Oh, yes. If you're not going, I'm going. Excuse me for a moment, you'll be fine. Keep on, keep Come on. There, Come on, quick. Walking, running, it's easier. But it's not that easy either, I don't think. The ankle is weird in this game. Sometimes I can't. Oh, I'm gonna hit the car! Oh, I'm creating a oh, traffic jam, block a bluish everywhere. Alright, what's our next one? Let's go to that building if we can get in. Anything else? Um, 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 um. I just don't like the map in this game. It's, it's just not sure what it means. Like, uh, ah, what? I press the map. I don't press the X. Come on. Okay. This is gonna be annoying every time you hit the map. Show the axe! Okay. What is this? Shop shop. Okay. Ah! Oh. Pool pot. What's the matter? Play for me for a bit. What? We need toilet. Ah, uh, that means you're not coming back for an hour or so. Oh. What have we got going on here? I don't even know how to play this game, Stinky. Look, I don't even know it either. I think maybe if you just get in front of a vehicle, they're going to have to stop. That's the plan. Oh. Why is it frozen all of a sudden? What happened? How do I get out of this? Ah, oh, this is it. No. Oh. oh. I'm going to steal a car somewhere. No, the cops are after me. Run away. Hang on. Things are frozen. Oh, what happened this time? Keeps wanting me to. Oh! I'm not so sure I should be fighting with a police officer, but let's do it. Oh, the police officer is wanting to take me on. 
punch me when I got a baseball bat. It's probably not going to. Oh, there's more of them. Oh, I just. That's not good. I don't think you're supposed to do that, stink pants. You've been injured, sent to the hospital. Oh, I have to watch an ad, it looks like. It looks like there's no alternative. State of survival. Well, there you go. There's an option for a new game, maybe. If that one looks all right. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> all right. Well, we might stop. How long have we been going for? Quite a while. We might stop this stream soon just because... It looks like Stink Pants is getting a little bit tired and I have no idea what's going on and or how to get out of that. Did that let me get out? Yes, it did. So, oh, <laughs> Kitty's saying, oh no. I don't know if that means, oh no, I'm stopping the stream a little bit early or because I don't know what I'm doing and I'm trying to fight with police officers. Stinky, you didn't tell me you weren't supposed to do that. Fight with the police officers. I also don't know how to actually hijack a car. Because I tried to do that before and that didn't work. I guess uh, GTA players would be laughing at me at this point. You both are so entertaining. I don't know about that. It, I get uh, very self-conscious when the chat goes quiet or maybe there's not a huge amount of people in the stream now. Unlike uh, normal, we tend to have a few more than what we do at the moment. So then I start losing confidence, I do, Stinky. Because uh, the chat's been a little bit quiet lately, although I can see Kitty Gaming and Red December is both still there. It's almost two hours. Oh, it is almost a two hour mark. Mm. So it's up to you. How do you hijack a car? That's what I've been trying to do. You go to the car that park, not the one that running. Oh, but can't I just stand? Because when you stand in front of it, they mm. do stop. Yeah, see? There will be a button on your right. Yeah, like that. Then oh. you press it. Did that work? I don't know. I never tried with the running car. We're going to try with a running car. I'm running faster than the actual car. What's going on with that? Traffic, traffic. Hang on, why is he running on his own? I'm not touching anything now. I'm going to hit a wall in a minute. Did you press like running or something? Yeah. You oh, does it, it automatically does it. If you press the running button. It seems like it's a, my actual mission at the moment to try and get one of these cars. Oh, there's a police. I'm not going to do that again. All right, look, I'm, I'm getting off the road there, Mr. Officer. I don't intentionally jaywalk. It's just a thing. And where's my running button? I can't run anymore. Uh, sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. You just have to do it. Anyway. Oh. Kitty Gaming said, oh no, Red December said you both are so entertaining. I also have startups, Lyric and Moonshadow watching. <laughs> Ken said, very, very laggy. Ten game graphics. But I can't, Ken. I don't know where it is. I can change the sound, but not the graphic. Yeah, because... Uh, That's fine. Sniper before said that it had to be um, VFX and there wasn't an option for it. I am determined to try and stop one of these cars, but it's just not, not happening at the moment. <laughs> Come on, it's mission impossible. These police cars are everywhere. And I'm in a busy road at the moment, so I don't think this is going to help. It was the 
side street one was better because they were traveling slower if that's right plus there's no more arrows like there were before telling you where to where to go and what to do you know i'm all about that you tell me where to go and what to do yeah, actually you, you tell me where to go and what to do all the time <laughs> fill in the blanks <laughs> Think about what I just said. You tell me where to go and what to do all the time. For example, uh, go jump off a cliff. It's telling me where to go. Do you, do you not know that is an insult? And you can say worse ones than that, but I'm not going to. You've never heard go jump off a cliff? or heard from TV, I guess, but... Take- Take a short walk off a long pier. Have you heard that one? No. Oh. Take a long walk off a short pier. I'm not getting that right, am I? If they told me to jump off the cliff, I would say, um, I live in a city. There's no cliff here. But that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not going to jump. <laughs> and tell me uh, what to do. Go something yourself. <laughs> I'm not going to say the words. Mm-hmm. You've never, you must have heard that one before. Yep. See, you tell me where to go and what to do all the time. Oh, this is not wasn't the original plan, but uh, I wanted to see you on a motorbike, so now I'm on a moped. But how do you reverse? Why won't it let me reverse anywhere? Yeah, that's the hard one. You actually have to just use... Oh, reverse is this one. This, this is reverse. Oh, that's all we want. Ken said everyone jaw walks and never gets caught. My first reaction of pulled out laughing so hard. <laughs> <laughs> now, how do you go forward? Forward is this one and backward is that one. Just next to each other. Here we go. Look at me on a moped. Oh. Uh. Great. There's a motorbike. You are the same level as me. Ha ha ha. <laughs> you know better. Ha ha ha. Hello, flu, 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 flu. Not look at me go. Oh. <laughs> Hello, full plate. You know what? I'm going to start doing. Uh, what do you call them? Donuts. What? What is donuts? You don't know what a donut is? Oh. oh. I'm getting it. This is what I was saying to you before about uh, jumping off a ramp. Let me let me yeah. get some. Oh. Stop going backwards. All right, here we go. Over the ramp. Over the ramp. Yes. Did you see that, Stinky? Yeah, I did once, but didn't land well. So. Neither did I. But that's I don't know all right. What's the point of that? It's the fact that you can do it. Oh, there's another ramp. Here we go. Whoop, low battery. <laughs> hey, what happened? I have no idea. Oh. Oh, is this an ad? Ken said, now that's a criminal charge of reckless driving. Ha, 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 <laughs> Welcome ha, to ha. my real life. <laughs> I was just about to go up that ramp and it did that. Now what do Press I do? Continue. Here we go. And I've slowed down to a stop. Oh no, that's not a ramp, it's a hill. But we're going up the hill. Why is it going so slowly? Oh, Uh-oh. this is the the lagging thing that uh, they were talking about. This is so slow. Come on. Get going. Look at me. <laughs> this is way too slow. Well, it's speeding up now. Here we go. Smack. Oh, I'm an expert oh. rider. Look at me go, oh. Stinky. Oh. oh. Whoa. <laughs> Great. Hello. Did I destroy that bike? Why won't it let me get on the bike again? No, you lose a plate. Just, you know, just walk. Oh, smack that bike. Smack him. 
Oh, there you go. Stinky, you can. I'm back on. Okay. <laughs> Let's go on the little scooter. Uh-huh. Love me a bit of scooter action. Good show. Now, will this let me do a huge jump here or not? We're about to find out. Nope. Tomorrow's gonna be hot here. 36 degrees Celsius. It's just making you want to go to the beach, isn't it, Stinky? You either go to the beach to swim or you go to swimming pool. Which one you're going to choose? Do you like beach or pool? Hmm? Stink? Uh, maybe beach, just because there's more to do there. You know, you're going to promise you're going to swim there? Yep. Yeah, somehow, i got to find a road again. This is not a road. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it doesn't look like a road. <laughs> Who teach you, huh? Lose a plague? <laughs> oh, hang on. I keep going around in circles too. This isn't good. Is that mean donut thing you're talking about? <laughs> yeah, that's the donut. Yeah, although I'm not trying to do donuts at the moment. I can't remember how I got up here. I've got to go back down again. Or oh, follow that path. One of the two. What, oh, there are arrows? Here we go, that's where I came from. Follow those arrows. Actually get out on that road first. Now we're in traffic. Yes, this is what we want. There's an arrow around there. Stinky, look at me. Look at me go. Whoa. Where did the arrows go? And what's that, green, what's that yellow symbol? Can I do something with that? Yeah, you can hijack it, maybe. Do we, you have, can we had a, have we had enough of the scooter action? Yeah, let's go big car. Go big car. Oh, we are going to go big car? Aye. Oh, Yarius. And unlike uh, Red December's message there, it's just more scooter action. But apparently, we're not doing scooter anymore. We're going to do this beast of a car. Look at this thing. Oh, yes. Oop. Uh, oh, that's the end of the soundtrack too there, Stinky. Uh -huh. It's two hours, I guess. Let me check. Right. I need to do a little bit of yeah, driving. Three more this. minutes. What? Why is the... No! I... It's the SWAT team. I'm getting out of the SWAT team. I'm going to have to reverse back a bit. Mm -hmm. Do something. Go. There we go. You put the soundtrack back on, Stinky. I told you. Where is it? How have I ended up on a footpath again? Great. All right. All i got to do is kind of line up on a road here somewhere. Away from the police. Is that a road? I'm off the road again. See how hard it is to navigate this car. Oh, this thing's a beast. Exactly. Oh. Here we go. We're on the road now, sort of. <laughs> Except I keep crashing into stuff. Out of my way. Oh, look at this. I'm even drifting, Stinky. I'm a drifter. You don't know what a car drifting is? Well, you take a corner and you slide, Stinky. That's what it's all Ken about. Said you kill pedestrian. Yes, where are the pedestrians? Criminal charge. <laughs> we don't now want that. Now you want it. That SWAT car keeps following me around. That's not a good sign. Well, you stole that car to begin with. Oh, is that why? Because it's not not a legally possessed car. I tell you, who is possessed? Me with his driving. Probably. What is something shooting at me, or what's going on? There's so many sparks flying around. Probably from the cars I'm crashing into. I think so. <laughs> well, there could be someone shooting at me. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's the crashing <laughs> action. 
Uh, is that my SWAT car after me again? It is. You're going to have to do better than that or you just drove over the top of me. Uh-huh. <laughs> Bit of respect, please. You can't do that. It is hard to stay on the road, isn't it? Mm. Now you get it. But did you have a beast of a car like this to be able to do it? Um, it's... Let's say I do that with any car. <laughs> it's too much power for one one poo dot. Oh, there's spot cars all over the place. Probably because I'm driving on the footpath yet again. Come on, do something about it. It's trying to hitch a ride on me. Look at that. Oh, I might be able to run over one of the mock SWAT members. Looks like I just did. No, he's in my road there. And the other thing is, does the car eventually stop working? Because it's kind of smoking now. Oh, something about a repair kit. Alright, I'm about done just because I can't get out of this spot. <laughs> Come on. Well, you hit two hours now. Alright, that might have to do for today's stream. But that was fun, driving that particular vehicle. Really? Just because I it's... don't like driving in any vehicle in this game. It's not fun. No? Mm, it's hard to navigate. It is hard to navigate. That is true. But you got to take... What I've learnt is you've got to kind of... When you can see a, a corner like this coming up, you got to take your hand off the the accelerator to be able to stay on the road. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, here we go. Look at me. I've stayed on the road for 10 seconds. That's a record. <laughs> awesome. Sting. Now, time for you to go take a shower. I stink a bit. No. <laughs> Come on. Shower time. All right, so thank you to the live chat for staying as long as you did. We'll call it quits at this point. Sorry about the slight lag, but hopefully on replay it will. And if anyone managed to stay in the stream for that long, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, the bell notifications. Don't forget to flush your toilet. Yeah. Hit the button. That's right. I don't like saying that stuff, but it <laughs> seems like we have to these days. So have a fantastic week to the DLG and everyone else that's still in the stream. Uh, we'll see you next week for hopefully a more exciting one because I'm going to try and get Stink Pants to do some work there. All right? All right. Have a good weekend. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, all. Goodbye.